Hi, I'm Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Adobe Photoshop Elements. Now, one of the tools that Adobe added to Photoshop Elements in the last couple of generations is a feature I kind of have mixed feelings about. I guess it depends on whether or not it fits your workflow. It operates semi-automatically, and I'll show you how to turn it off if you don't like it. When you select the Crop tool here on the toolkit, you'll notice that by default, the program will automatically pre-select the cropped area for you. And in fact, if you look down here in the tool options bin, you see that it offers actually several crop selections. So there's this one, this one, this one, and this one. And I'm just hovering over, I'm not clicking to select them, just hovering over them and it's showing me four options. Now, it is kind of amazing that the program is intuitive enough to actually make a suggestion. It's basing it on what it sees in the picture. It's basing it on faces that it finds in the photo and trying to suggest for you the best possible crop. Now, if you like the options that it gives you, all you need to do is just press enter or return on your keyboard or click that little check mark and it will crop the picture for you. And that's all nice. I don't really like it. <laughs> like I say, if it fits your workflow, that's great. I'm going to control Z or command Z to undo that crop. If you don't like it, it's easy enough to turn off. Just go to the preferences. Now on a Mac, those preferences are up and to the left. On a PC, they're under the edit menu, preferences, go to the general page. And here on the general page, you'll find the option to enable crop pre-selection. That's the default setting. If you uncheck that, if you don't want it, click OK. And now when I'm just going to select a different tool and then come back to the crop tool. Now when I select the crop tool, no suggestion is offered. And you notice down here in the tool options bin, I still have those suggestions if I want them and I can hover over those and the program will be nice enough to offer those suggestions again. But until I do that, I can manually create my own crop, which is what I like to do the vast majority of the time. So to create my own crop, I simply drag across the picture and then set the crop up for the crop that I want and press enter or return to cut the picture. It's entirely up to you whether you prefer the program making suggestions for you or whether you like to make your own crop selection from scratch. Now one other thing to notice by the way when you make a crop selection you may notice that the preview of the crop here includes these little guidelines that run through here. Now by default it's giving you uh, two guidelines each direction. In other words, we're cutting the picture into nine little squares. This has to do with an aesthetic decision based on something called the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds states that the most interesting part of your picture is never right dead center in your picture. The most interesting thing is a little bit off to the left or a little bit off to the right. This rule of thirds helps you base your decision, your crop, on what is in that one third area. So in other words, this man with his arm around this boy, I actually, if I wanted to get a picture that was more interesting, I may actually change my crop here to place them in this one third area, one third down and one third from the left. And now when I crop it, I've got a much more interesting picture here. Now your first reaction may be, well, everything is kind of off to the left now, but if you just look away for a second and then look back at this picture, you'll notice that your eye is immediately drawn to those two guys right there in the one third area. So that's how the rule of thirds works. It makes the picture a little more interesting rather than having all of your information centered in the picture to have it just a little bit off to the right or a little bit off to the left. And those rule of thirds guides will help you set up that particular layout. Now, if you want to know more about this very deep program, be sure to check out all the tips and tutorials we have here at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about the program, check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements, and that's available at the MoviePix store as well as at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grusetti. Thanks for joining me. See you again soon.